on every Thursday. We have Buck Buzz, and today we have Chief Executive Ron Mink. Morning, Ron. Good morning, Ian. How are you? I'm pretty good. You've got a very interesting one today. Kill yes. The giants. Yes. Um, and this is how companies can uh, follow strategies to kill off their competitors. Yes, but it's it sort of war. Is a we have a lot of clients who use war as a as a as a as something they 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 want to talk about because it sort of resonates. And uh, there's a particular book that's very popular with clients, which is called Thirty Street Strategies of War by a guy called uh, Robert Green. Now, if you're into strategy, that's the book you should really read. It, it takes Napoleon, Sun Tzu, uh, Genghis Khan, and the type of strategies. And then we came across this book, it's called Killing Giants, and it's sort of a uh, Robert Green light, or a 2.0 version of 33 strategies of, uh, of war. Now. It's very interesting because if you look at, at the Irish situation, and let's just, uh, we're beating each, each other up because we're going through a really tough time. But every SME that has survived the last two to three years is a lean, mean fighting machine. And I was at the CPA uh, dinner uh, yesterday, and there was the, uh, the president of the American Chamber of Commerce, sorry, the Chamber of Commerce in, in the United States, and he talked about Ireland open for business, ready to pounce, our export uh, performance and this book gives you sort of 10 strategies on how to kill the giants now speed by, is one of them isn't it uh, speed is one of them and you see and by, na by nature Irish SMEs are tiny little companies so uh, we are have we have to fight a lot of uh, giants and speed is uh, is one of them and there's a there's a there's a link because that's the nice thing if you read a lot of business books there's sort of links between all those books there's another book called fierce competitors and it talks about Every company or every procedure that needs more than two signatures should be abolished. And uh, an SME can move almost immediately while the big company is having a committee meeting after the committee meeting after every committee meeting. And by the time that the competitor has realized that something is happening, you've already done it. So getting things done quickly, that's one of his key... But it's, it's the strength of one of, uh, of, uh, of, of SMEs. Now, something not lacking in most businesses is passions, particularly in Ireland. If you think of the, the big entrepreneurs yes. like Michael O'Leary, they've got they're plenty of passionate about their business. But for everybody in, in a company, no matter who you are, you've got to be passionate about it. Yes. And uh, so this book touches a lot on, uh, on, on culture. And there's sort of an element of Mavericks at, at work uh, about it. And he... he uh, Sam Adams, the beer. Do you yep. like beer, Ian? I, I very much like Do you beer. like Sam Adams? I'm not a great fan of it. Not the red one, anyway. And they're talking about uh, getting uh, their staff, getting sort of the dirt under their fingernails. So everybody in Sam Adams is taught how to brew. And every staff member in Sam Adams has a little brewery kit at home. And they're all allowed to brew their own beer. So you, you, you're creating a whole uh, group of people who are completely passionate about beer. Now, Heineken, <coughs> excuse me, can't beat that because they can't train all the staff in how to, uh, to, to brew. Eat the bug is another uh, strategy. Now, you, nobody can see this, but this is a five finger. Uh, it's a type of shoe. And what they have found, and this is really interesting, is that running is, uh, is most healthy on your bare feet. And a company called um, Fibron came up with uh, a concept called five fingers, which is literally, you're, you're almost you're walking bare, your bare feet. It's like a flip-flop, isn't it? Now, you're not doing justice to the, to the shoe, but it, it's a, because I'm a runner, and uh, they're fantastic, but they're extremely ugly, and when you start running with them, people look at the shoe as if you're completely uh, mad. Now, an Adidas or a Nike will never be, be capable of introducing this type of shoe, because it would be admitting that their design is fundamentally flawed, and it is. So... Uh, that's the example uh, they use. So people are going to have to eat the bug and uh, get over the... Well, awful yeah, and, and the nice thing is that uh, a small company can eat the bug that a big company like Adidas or Nike can't, uh, can't do. He uses the example, now it's not a small company, but uh, in the United States they introduced the Mini, which is about polarizing. And rather than, uh, because Americans like big, big cars, as we all uh, know, and they on purpose highlight the small, the tiny size of the, of the Mini, and that worked uh, extremely well. So Fighting dirty, that's another strategy. That's, that's, that's hardly a, a fair strategy. Yeah, well, in love and war, Ian, uh, everything is, uh, is allowed. Uh, they talk about... Uh, the fighting dirty is sort of linked uh, with uh, another strategy, which is winning the last uh, three miles. 
which is so as an example is of a of a sound company and uh, uh, sound systems and what they did is they got another competitor to uh, promote but they trained their sales staff in the shops and gave a, a a version of their machinery to the staff and they were the passionate people it's all about passion well, Ron, I shall have a look at it. I don't mind Ooh. fighting dirty sometimes, so you get a story. Ron, I mean, Fenra Book Buzz, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. And now